Hi everyone, thanks for watching my online lesson on rationalising the denominator. So this topic involves calculating with thirds and before you attempt rationalising the denominator you need to be able to multiply thirds and for some more complicated examples you need to expand double brackets with thirds. But for now let's look at some simpler examples. This first question says rationalise 1 over root 7. So by rationalise the denominator, it means to get rid of the third on the denominator because we know that thirds are irrational numbers. So we are going to rationalise it by turning that denominator into a number. So the only way we can do this, what can we multiply root 7 by in order to make it a number? Well, the trick is we're going to multiply it by root 7. So I'm going to write multiply the bottom by root 7. However, if we only multiply the bottom by root 7, we're actually changing what this fraction is. The only thing we can multiply this fraction by to keep it the same value is the number 1. So I'm going to multiply it by root 7 over root 7. Because this is the number 1 written in a different way. So this is the little trick we use. So multiplying fractions, multiply the tops together. 1 times root 7 is just root 7. And then the denominator, root 7 times root 7 is 7, and that's my answer. So I have rationalised the denominator, it's now an integer. So this is root 7 over 7. Okay, using this trick again, let's look at one that's slightly harder. This is express 6 over root 2 in the form a root b, where a and b are positive integers. So again, I'm going to rationalise the denominator. So 6 over root 2. So I'm going to multiply this time by root 2 over root 2. So this will rationalise the denominator for me. So on the top, I will have 6 times root 2, which is 6 root 2 on my numerator. And on my denominator, root 2 times root 2 is 2. Now this will get me one mark, but I want it in the form a root b. And we have 6 root 2 divided by 2, so this is just 3 root 2. So that's my answer. a is 3 and b is 2. So 3 root 2. Here's a little bit of a more complicated example. So now we have write root 18 plus 10 over root 2 in the form p plus q root 2 where p and q are integers. So it's the same process as the last one, we're just dealing with more complicated um, thirds. So I've got root 18 plus 10 all over root 2 and I'm still going to use the same trick as before. To get rid of this root 2 on the bottom I need to multiply that by root 2 over root 2. So, on the top, I'm just going to write this as a bracket to begin with. So, I'm going to do root 2 multiplied by root 18 plus 10. And on my denominator, I'm going to have 2. You could do this all in one go, but I'm just going to do it step by step. So, expanding this bracket on the top, I've got to do root 2 times root 18. So, this is root 36 plus... 10 root 2 all over 2 and then we can go even further with this root 36 is just 6 so this is 6 plus 10 root 2 all over 2 and again we can simplify that even further because we can divide every term by 2 so 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 10 root 2 divided by 2 is 5 root 2. And this question wants to know what are the values of P and Q? Well, P is 3 and Q is 5. Okay, this is about as complicated as rationalising the denominator gets. And luckily for us, this is a show that question. So we know what answer we're aiming for. Say so show that 3 plus root 2 over 5 plus root 8 
can be written as 11 minus root 2 over 17. So we can see that they have a rational denominator, so we're going to rationalise our denominator first. So 3 plus root 2 over 5 plus root 8. Now this time what we're going to multiply by is um, whatever the denominator is, but with a different sign in the middle. So here we have a plus, we have 5 plus root 8. We're going to multiply by 5 minus root 8, both the numerator and denominator as before. If this was 5 minus root 8, then I'd be multiplying the numerator and denominator by 5 plus root 8. So let's write that down. We're going to multiply by 5 minus root 8 over... 5 minus root 8. So again, I'm only really multiplying by 1. So I'm not changing the value of my fraction. So let's see what happens when I do this, and you'll see why we use this trick on the denominator. So let's just write it as double brackets first. I'm going to do all of that numerator multiplied by all of that one. And on the bottom, 5 plus root 8, 5 minus root 8. So I need to expand these double brackets. If you're unsure on how to do this and I do this step too fast for you, please watch my video on expanding double brackets with thirds first. So we have 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times minus root 8 is minus 3 root 8. Then root 2 times 5 is 5 root 2. And uh, root 2 times minus root 8 is minus root 16. And then the denominator, we have 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times minus root 8 is minus 5 root 8. Root 8 times 5 is plus 5 root 8. And... Um, root 8 times minus root 8 is just minus 8. So hopefully now you can see why this trick of multiplying by the opposite of the denom denominator, the opposite sign in the denominator, works. We have 25, which is fine, that's just an integer. On the end, we end up with an integer. And in the middle, we have minus 5 root 8 and plus 5 root 8. So these are going to cancel each other out. So that's why this trick of multiplying by the opposite sign of the denominator works. We've rationalised our denominator. We just need to tidy up a little bit now because we need to show that this is the same as 11 minus root 2. So on my numerator, I have 15 minus... And you need to be able to simplify thirds here as well. Um, 3 root 8. Well, root 8 is the same as root 4 root 2, which is 2 root 2. So 3 root 8 is going to be 6 root 2. 6 root 2. And then I have plus 5 root 2. And minus root 16 is just minus 4. And then my denominator, I have my minus 5 root 8 and plus 5 root 8 cancel out. I've just got 25 minus 8, which is 17. And final step, 15 and the minus 4 makes 11. Minus 6 root 2 plus 5 root 2 is minus root 2. And 17 on my denominator. So that's it. That's the most complicated that rationalising the denominator gets where you have some number plus or minus a root on the bottom. OK, here's two questions for you to try. The first one is fairly simple, but you have to do a little bit of simplifying to get um, your answer. And the second one is a more complicated example. And I will give you a little hint here we have a minus on the bottom, so you're going to multiply by something with a positive in the middle. That's the only little hint I'll give you. Pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the solutions.
here's the solutions. So the first question, we should have multiplied the top and bottom by root 8. So we get 4 root 8 over 8, which is root 8 over 2. But that's not fully simplified form because root 8 is the same as 2 root 2. So you have 2 root 2 over 2, which is just root 2. And then the second example, you should be multiplying the top and the bottom by root 3 plus 4 because we need to use the opposite sign of what's already in the denominator. And when you expand those brackets and simplify everything, you should have 7 plus 5 root 3 over minus 13. Or if you've written the minus um, at the front of the fraction instead, that's absolutely fine. Thank you for watching.